What's up guys and welcome back to Supercars of Westchester and welcome to another C8 Z06 render video where we have another set of brand new renders for the upcoming C8 Z06. I think this is definitely the best one yet so you do not want to miss this. The first one I'm going to show you guys is the thumbnail image here where we have what looks to be that massive C8R style rear wing. It has already been confirmed that the C8 Z06 will be sporting a massive rear wing so this could give you a better idea of what it would look like. The exhaust here in this render has seemed to be changed up a bit with a slightly more aggressive look to it as well as the more aggressive rear diffuser. I do like the rear diffuser a lot although I'm not a big fan of that exhaust setup. It looks like they are trying to keep with the design of that squarish rear end but I do like the look of a more rounded exhaust system like the C7 Z06 hat. Also, another thing to note here is the smaller rear spoiler on the rear hatch lid which also adds a little bit extra to the design. I do like the wheel choice here, the lower suspension and the wider fenders aren't too over the top like they were in some of the other renders we have seen. Overall a very nice render. This one here is probably the most interesting render for me because this looks very real. This has closely followed all of the C8 Z06 spy shots so far and I have to say I like it a lot. I wish I had some other angles of this render so I can get a better look at it. These side vents on this render are interesting because they do not have the added carbon flash piece. Instead they seem to be just an extension of that rear quarter panel and flow smoothly with the rest of the car as well as being much wider than the ones on the Stingray. This gives it a much more cleaner, smoother look and overall just different than what we are used to seeing. The other thing to note is the hood. The spy shots clearly show some type of raised material covering something over the center part of the hood of the car, so this could very well be something that's hiding underneath. Again, nothing too crazy and over the top, I think it flows very nicely with the rest of the car. And lastly is the front bumper. Although it looks very similar to the C8 Stingray, there are a few changes. Overall it looks slightly more angular at the very front which is a nice look and also this area right down here. If you compare this to the stock C8 Stingray, you can see the difference between the two. It's hard to explain but this one has a sharper look to it while still carrying the same overall design. I'm not sure if these numbers here were added for effect but they seem to show a date and time of October 6, 2019 at 4.05pm. Just sitting here in a parking lot, I wonder if this Z06 was just hanging out here in the open all along. Next up is this one here. There are a few things that I do like in this render, and the first is the center exit exhaust. I'm not sure I like how it is all designed and integrated here. I like the rear diffuser more on the previous render. This one looks a little too plain like it's missing something, but I always like the idea of the center exit exhaust. The rear wing is quite an interesting choice. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's one of those things you would have to see in person to appreciate. I do like how the sides come off the rear quarter panels and are molded in like that and I'm curious to see this from different angles. Another thing to point out here is the open ended rear tires here at the back. This is really cool looking when there is nothing obstructing the view of those massive rear tires and really makes the car look that much more wider especially when driving directly from behind. The front fenders seem to have that same look and design as the first render, so nothing much has changed there as well as the side air intakes. They look the same as the Stingray, which I'm sure would be changed slightly for the Z06 version. This next one here has yet another angle of that open rear tire, and you can really see how wide those tires are. The centered exit exhaust here looks much better in this one, the way it is integrated into that rear diffuser like that. Sticking with the quad tailpipes was a good choice here. It's hard to see because of the dark coloring at the top, but there seems to be some kind of a duckbill spoiler on the rear deck lid. Again, I don't think this would be the case, but maybe they will have different wing options as they did with the C7ZR1. The clear tail lights here are a cool look and interested to see if they will stick with that or not for the upcoming Z06. This one here is very clean looking with only a few noticeable changes. The first is the front lip spoiler here which is a little different than the factory optional splitter offered by GM. This too has the open air design elements going into the front tires here and also at the back. I like this rear quarter panel how it is designed and you can see the rear tire in the front as opposed to the back like the other renders. Also for any of you C7Z06 or ZR1 owners out there, 
you will notice that this area is also known to be one of the more prone areas for stone chips as those sticky front tires pick up whatever is on the road and toss it right back to this area. That would minimize this a little more with this design while still adding to the overall design of the car. This one here is definitely the most aggressive of the bunch in particular at the front end. Although the carbon fiber canards give it more of that race car inspired look, I think it's a bit too much for me for a street car. I'm not a big fan of the front bumper styling here either. I will say that the hood looks really really cool. It has that Ferrari piece to look to it and although it wouldn't help much with the cooling, it would definitely increase the overall downforce of the car by quite a large margin and coupled with that large rear wing at the back, this thing would be planted on the ground while driving at high speeds. The other thing I like a lot about this render is that roof scoop. I always love the idea of a roof scoop on the mid-engine Corvette. And this one in particular is not exactly the style I would go for, but it still looks pretty cool. Also from a practicality standpoint, it doesn't look like you would be able to remove the hardtop with the roof scoop coming over the roof panel like that. I think the roof scoop would have to be either sitting further back like it does on the C8R, or somehow be integrated into the roof without having a removable hardtop. From the spy shots we have seen so far for the Z06, it doesn't look like we will be getting that for this car unless they are hiding it really well, but my fingers are crossed for a future ZR1 or Zora model. This one here personally is what I think the C8Z06 will most closely resemble out of all these renders. It has the C8R front bumper, hood, and larger side vents. I do like how they put the Z06 badging on the side vents, that's a nice touch. Although I think that the factory production Z06 will have a different styled hood than the C8R, this still looks pretty amazing and I would be completely happy with this as an end result. Also, another thing to note here is the rear spoiler, which is taken directly from a C7 Z06, which obviously wouldn't stay, and it would have a larger rear wing like the C8R. Overall, this is a really cool looking render. The only thing I would change here besides the rear wing is the exhaust setup. I would like to see something more aggressive for the Z06 and ZR1 variants. This one here I wanted to show you guys for one specific reason, and that's the rear end. In the recent article where there was leaked information about the massive rear wing, they spoke about it being reminiscent of the Koenigsegg Agera RS. And this rear wing slightly resembles that style of rear wing as opposed to what we see on the C8R. Also, this added air intake over the engine bay is exactly what I was talking about earlier by pushing it further to the back of the car. These added features coupled with the C8R side vents, front bumper, and hood is a winning look in my opinion. I think the rear wing would be a bit larger since they described it as being massive, but this still looks really cool with everything coming together all in one render. This will be the last one here for this video, and this one I do actually like. As aggressive as it is, it's really eye-catching. The part that stands out to me the most is that front hood. It's such a cool design, the only thing here is for this to function properly, I feel like there has to be more of an open space in the front bumper here to allow air to be pulled in and then out over the top of the hood to create downforce. This seems to be the stock C8 front bumper with some added aero components to it, which still looks really cool. Coming around to the front fenders, which we did not talk about all that much today, is a slightly different design than we have seen. It's hard to tell exactly with only this one angle, but it looks like it just stops halfway down the fender and tapers in much like an aftermarket wide body kit would. Coming along the side here is this added rear vent, possibly for brake cooling. Historically, the Z06 variants has had some type of added arrow on the rear quarter panel to its design, and I'm curious to see if that will make it to the C8 Z06, or will it be on the front fender instead with this being a mid-engine layout and everything is reversed in design. Only time will tell, I guess, but overall this is a really cool render. Well guys, that's going to just about wrap things up for this latest Z06 render video. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite, and what components are you most looking forward to seeing on the new C8 Z06? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.